My name is Paul Graziano. I'm the Commissioner of Housing for the City of Baltimore. And uh, I'm happy to be here on this beautiful day as we uh, uh, take another step uh, in uh, progress here in the Oliver neighborhood with the uh, Mayor's Vacancy to Value program. And uh, I'm going to uh, introduce a few folks here and, uh, and make a couple of brief comments, and, and then I'll introduce the mayor. Um, first of all, this is the kickoff of a, of a new chapter. We will be uh, today doing the first demolition under a, a newly funded program uh, 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 out of the Attorney General Settlement Fund. Uh, which will be uh, a $9.25 $9 million dollar, uh, demolition uh, budget uh, to demolish uh, approximately 500 properties uh, throughout the city in, in cluster areas like this. Uh, and in addition, another $750,000 uh, that will be made available uh, for home buyers who uh, purchase uh, vacants to value houses. Uh, so we're very, very happy to have this $10 million to, to build upon our uh, uh, growing uh, vacants to value program. And uh, I'd like to acknowledge a couple of people who are here today, and then I'm going to ask the mayor to uh, step up here. Um, I know that, uh, let me cover the folks from my staff, and I, I think the mayor has some acknowledgments she wants to make as well. Uh, I want to thank uh, Julie Day, Deputy Commissioner uh, for Land Resources, who is right over here. Uh, and uh, has been uh, integral in terms of uh, uh, ad addressing issues uh, like uh, site assembly and uh, where necessary uh, relocations uh, to affect full block demolitions. Uh, Michael Braverman, a deputy commissioner for code enforcement uh, who uh, uses all of our vacants to value uh, code enforcement tools in a very, very effective way and also oversees the demolition effort itself. Uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, Ken Strong, which, who's over here. Ken should really be over here because he's getting a piece of this action, too, with $750,000 that will be made available uh, for home buyer uh, in, uh, grants for those buying vacant houses that have been rehabbed. Um, I want to acknowledge also uh, Kim Washington from my staff, uh, who's the chief of staff, uh, uh, Calliope, Calliope Parthemus, uh, the deputy uh, for uh, Neighborhood and Economic Development and Mackenzie Garvin from her staff. Uh, so many partners here and so much support. Uh, uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to the mayor and ask her to, uh, to uh, officially kick off uh, the first demolition activity that will be funded at the Attorney General's Settlement Fund. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. It is my pleasure to be here with all of you, uh, particularly uh, all the members of the community who are out here. And Pastor Keen, thank you. I'm excited that you're going to be taking the first swipe at the, at the building. Going to knock it down. All right, we've heard it. So today represents another step in rebuilding the Oliver community and the neighborhoods uh, that are like this all across our city. I really want to thank uh, the Attorney General for uh, the, the work that his, he and his staff put into the, the settlement. I want to thank uh, Secretary Ray Skinner uh, with the state that helped out with this. I also uh, want to thank uh, my housing commissioner and his entire team. Uh, we worked very hard to make sure that the uh, mortgage settlement money represented a comprehensive approach to neighborhood stabilization. And with the mix that we have of housing services and demolition and other things, I think we're really getting there. This demolition is happening because of that, uh, the, because of the large, largest um, mortgage servicers were uh, caught red-handed during for, uh, foreclosure abuse, fraud, and other acceptable practices. The actions of these large mortgage companies caused many people to lose their homes and left uh, d communities across our city and across our country devastated. Right now, it's our opportunity to undo some of the damage that has already been done. Baltimore's share of about $9 million from the settlement will continue the efforts of our Vacants to Value program. Demolitions are vital to stabilizing communities and removing blight. 
They create housing opportunities for new homeowners to look, who are looking to settle down and raise a family in clean, safe communities. They help our city to grow while making sure that services are maintained for residents. No one deserves to live on a block with blighted houses. Working together, we can make it a reality in every community across the city to build strong neighborhoods. Strong neighborhoods are essential. Uh, they are a central component of everything, everything we want to see accomplished in Baltimore. We cannot think for a second that we'll be able to have a, a firm foundation to grow our neighborhoods uh, with blighted blocks like we see before us. Strong neighborhoods support better schools. Strong neighborhoods support safer streets. And strong neighborhoods support better services for our residents. And strong neighborhoods are how we will reach our goal of growing Baltimore by 10,000 families. And let me say something to the community members who are here. Part of my strategy in growing our city is a retention strategy. And what I mean by that is I'm not interested in, in uh, merely bringing 10,000 new people into Baltimore if we continue to lose the people that we have. And that's why this demolition is so important. When you live in a community that you feel has been neglected and abandoned, you don't want to stay either. So that's why the vacancy to value demolition work is so important. We want to make sure that we're tearing down the, these blighted properties, that some, you know, the, the ones that we can rebuild, we're going to work to rebuild them. But some are so far gone that we cannot rebuild. We cannot rebuild. So we have to demolish them in order to make a way for new opportunities. And what I love, especially in the Oliver community, is where we see that we've, been, we've made those uh, rehabilitation uh, opportunities possible. People who live in the community or grew up in the community are finding their way back home to the Oliver community and finding their way back home to Baltimore. So I don't want you to think for a second that my efforts to grow our city does not include the residents of the city who are already here. I want to make sure that we keep our residents here. That's why we look for opportunities to invest in vacancy value and demolition and rehab of properties. That's why I work so hard to get the $1.1 billion in new school construction, because people want to live in communities with strong schools, with the facilities that our kids deserve, first-rate schools. And that's what we'll have all throughout Baltimore. And that's why we're also fighting in Oliver and communities all over our city for safety, public safety and safer communities. Because just like no family deserves to live on a blighted block, no family deserves to live in fear. And in, in uh, partnership, by working together, I know that we'll have a safer Baltimore block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood, and our city will be uh, one of the safest big cities in our country. I also thank you for that. I want to thank uh, Major Matthews, who, who is here, who's too chicken to get in the truck and take a swipe at the building. And I, and I, also, <laughs> I also want to thank Pastor Prentice uh, for all of your hard work. I know you're going to get up in that truck and give it a swipe. All righty. All right. So with that, I will again want to thank everyone for coming out uh, to witness the work that we're doing in Vacancy Value, rebuilding our communities. And I'm going to turn it back over to Commissioner Graziano. Thank, thank you, Mayor. And uh, also, uh, in addition, uh, Bishop Miles is, uh, is out. I want to acknowledge his presence. Uh, and I, I, there's a few people from my staff that I, I neglected to mention. They've been streaming in here. Janine Dunn, my special assistant. Uh, Mara D'Angelo, who's been so critical in kind of organizing uh, these, uh, you know, the planning behind uh, getting these 500 properties done. And uh, uh, John David Evans, uh, also from uh, Michael Braverman's shop, who's one of the number crunchers who's so important to getting this stuff done. Jerry Dorich, who, uh, oh, where, where'd Jerry go? Right there. Uh, who, who's the guy who actually supervises all this demolition work. Uh, and then uh, Bill Bolden uh, uh, is the man on the scene here on, on each of these projects. So those are uh, folks from our team. A few people from the community that I have not mentioned. Uh, uh, David Barinsky is here and uh, has been a, uh, an investor in so much of this activity uh, in, in uh, reinvesting in, in terms of the rehab that's going on in Oliver. Uh, 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 David uh, Landamore from the 6th Branch, Earl Johnson, uh, and uh, uh, Charles Jackson from the President's Office, I understand, is here. And uh, uh, Dietra from the Comptroller's Office is out there 
uh, as well. Um, and so I want to thank all those folks for being here. And uh, Terrell uh, Williams from Build is here, uh, and uh, is the uh, community organizer here in in uh, in the, on this. Uh, in the, I hope he is. I hope he is. Uh, we'll have to uh, push him on, push him on that. So um, uh, I wanted to say a couple of other things too because. Uh, the, the importance of, of, of eliminating blight like what we have here is so, so critical to the stabilization of neighborhoods and to encourage people to, uh, to reinvest in these communities and to protect the interests of people who currently live here. We're protecting their health and safety, but we're also protecting their financial uh, investment in this community. So some people have asked, well, why are you putting this money into demolition? Uh, the, the, the long-standing problem with vacants uh, blighting our communities uh, really uh, proceeds by decades, the, 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 the most recent foreclosure uh, crisis. But I want to be clear that this settlement uh, ha uh, brings uh, over $900 million uh, to the state of Maryland, and a good chunk of that will come uh, to the city, into the city, for relief uh, for property owners who have suffered some form of, of, of mortgage uh, 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 problems there. Uh, also, I want to point out that, uh, that there is about $15 million in cash available uh, that's going to housing counseling agencies throughout the, the state, many of whom uh, are in the, and, and serve the city of Baltimore, uh, and to provide legal services uh, related to uh, foreclosure challenges as well. The city of Baltimore is very much committed. Uh, the mayor um, every year uh, allocates uh, approximately $800,000 uh, in CDBG funds to fund our local uh, uh, providers of uh, assistance and counseling for those who have uh, mortgage uh, challenges. Uh, and last year we served over 5,000 households, Mayor, in that regard. So it is very much a balanced approach. We must deal with this, the physical uh, manifestations here, the, the, the blighted structures that, 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 that must come down, and we must uh, work with those who have uh, the immediate need with respect to uh, their mortgages. Uh, so it is very much a, a balanced effort. Uh, I am going to ask um, Pastor uh, Calvin Keene from Memorial Baptist Church to come on up and uh, say a few words uh, from the community perspective on, on what this means today. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is a great privilege to stand before you this morning and to declare uh, that we are rebuilding in Oliver. We started on this journey some uh, 13 years ago, and we're not tired yet. Uh, I, I do want to uh, say thank you to our mayor, um, the Bakers to Value program has significantly uh, assisted our effort in ensuring that uh, we can uh, have properties that have been vacant for years and make them available to those who want to invest and rebuild in the community. So I want to thank uh, Mayor Rollins Blake for that. Uh, and certainly uh, the Housing Department has done a great work in working along with us in uh, acquiring properties so we can uh, work on rebuilding in the community. Uh, but I want to tell you that uh, for me, uh, my, my thinking was galvanized some, uh, some 11 years ago uh, with the da Dawson family tragedy that happened on Preston and Eden Street. Uh, I actually grew up three houses from that place. Uh, I've lived in, or worked and pastored in this community all of my life. Uh, we were already talking about the investment we wanted to make, five pastors in this community. Uh, our churches uh, uh, cobbled together some $1.25 million, and, and from that we were able to begin to uh, attract investors uh, into this community so that we can begin to rebuild. Uh, but I, I want to do more than brick and mortar uh, boards and sticks. Uh, we need to rebuild families. Uh, we, need, we need to spend time uh, engaging one another uh, so that we can all uh, come together to make a difference in this community. And so as you stand here today and as you watch uh, these buildings come down, I want you to also imagine uh, families growing. Uh, I want you to imagine mothers and fathers uh, taking their kids to school and, and a difference that uh, will make this community what, uh, what we know that it can be. 
And so I want you to know it's for, it's for all of you who are here today uh, that this action is going on. And I, I'm glad that uh, we have a mayor who gets it, uh, that we have a, uh, a, a major in this uh, department, uh, Major Matthew, who gets it. Uh, we have uh, people in housing who get it, uh, who want to work with the community to make sure uh, that we can have a safe place for our young people to grow up and to be able to achieve their dreams. And so with that, uh, thank you so very much, um, Commissioner Graziano. Um, I turn it back to you. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate that. We could not do this uh, without community support, and we especially could not do this without the efforts of BUILD and, and all the, uh, the pastors and the uh, parishioners uh, of BUILD who have come together certainly in this neighborhood, but uh, gro expanding throughout the city. Uh, such a vital, vital organizing effort, and it's uh, really uh, the foundation of everything we do. And I think the mayor wanted to uh, come back. All right. Just, I am uh, looking forward to our demolition team that is getting us started. I know uh, Pastor Keene has volunteered to take the first swipe at the building. Pastor Prentice, he's, uh, he's up next. I think we have a community member, Mr. George. Are you coming up, taking a swipe? What about Mr. Williams? Are you going to get in? Are you Are you going to stand? Are you going to? Are you going? To, uh, come on, Terrell. Come on. Come on, Terrell. All right. Let's get our demolition team going. Thank you all very much. Thank you.